After successfully pulling off the coup of tapping the business phone of Capone Lieutenant Frank Nitti, the tap had been discovered before they could exploit it to its fullest. One touch of hope was a telephone call from Rusty. She had news for him. They arranged to meet at Pier 17 on the lakefront. I found out where Rhina keeps some of his books. Good. You can thank me by getting rid of Mr. Capone. The sooner the better. So you Mr. Felcher can take over? Well, you keep up with all the society news, don't you? We'll get him, too. You be careful now, Mr. Ness. Well, it's got no sense. Can't tell a hood from a cop. Even an untouchable ain't puncture-proof, honey. I appreciate the concern. You're just a super boy scout, ain't you? Do you want to die, is that it? I'm trying to understand you. Is busting into speakeasies and breaking up little old crap games really worth risking your life over? I'll bet your wife don't think so. Let's just say she married a stubborn guy. At least if there were a payoff to match the risk. How much is Felcher offering? You interested, Mr. Ness? Capone can answer that one. Would you be interested in double what Mr. Capone has to offer? You can tell Felcher for me his money's no better than any other glorified punks. That's what he thought. You're a poor fool, Mr. Ness. You deserve what you get. If you want your books, follow me. We'll go in my car. I swear I can't understand how you've managed to stay alive this long. Gets to be a habit after a while. Do you always trust people like this? How do you know I'm taking you where I say I am? How do you know this isn't some trap? It gets so you learn to trust your judgment of people. You only have to be wrong once. Just once. Mr. the floor? Mm-hmm. What's the room number? 300. Must be this way. 304. Thanks. Anybody in there? But what do you mean? How do I get in? Oh, I have a key. No use. You'll be down the fire escape into the car by now. They'll have to have that wall replastered. Anybody hurt? No. Well, it'll cost them fifty dollars. Well, good night. Well, I guess I'll just have to tell Mr. Felcher one of his boys was over anxious. What do you think of your judgment of people now, Mr. Ness? I was right, wasn't I? Look. 
if I take you to where those books are for real, you do me a favor back? What? Don't let me see you no more.